Hello, good evening and welcome. You're watching Times Now. I'm Sagarika Mitra and our top focus on Times Now remains the controversy surrounding meat. When will students get justice? The government has sprung into action mode, but the opposition says the damage has been done and the future of more than 24 lakh students is at stake. Why? Because exams are being postponed one after the other. A CBI probe has begun, but now let's get you details of what has happened. 813 out of 1,563, that is only 52% of students turned up for the NEET UG retest that took place today. Now remember this happened because of the grace marks issue. Even as the controversy around NEET spirals, the Indian Medical Association and top educationists have lauded the central government for the steps that they took to handle the NEET crisis. Now the CBI has started investigation like we told you and they are looking at alleged irregularities, the paper leak that took place in Bihar and the other issues that are now coming to the fore. Teams of the CBI have been sent to Bihar and to Gujarat to gather inputs from the local police when it comes to the investigation. NTA DG Subodh Kumar has been shunted and an expert panel has been formed to recommend reforms in the NTA and the education system on the whole. Now listen into the voices of support that's coming in from the education and the academic fraternity when it comes to the steps taken by the go government. The government has taken uh, proactive steps to protect the interests of the students and to protect the integrity of the examinations conducted by NTA. And this committee will provide recommendations in, uh, uh, in two ways. One is the uh, restructuring of NTA and its functioning and then the entire gamut of the processes involved in the conduct of the examination and the data security protocols, all these issues will be looked by this committee. जो किसी भी एग्जाम की इंटेग्रिटी के लिए महत्वपूर्ण होती हैं, एक तो व्यक्ति, अर्थात पीपल, दूसरा प्रोसेस जो भी प्रक्रिया है, और तीसरा इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर। तो गवर्नमेंट ने जिस तरह से शिक्षा मंत्रालय ने जिस तरह से त्वरित रूप से जो एनटीए के डीजी थे, उनको हटाया और एक दूसरे व्� IIT Kanpur ke Board of Governors ke chairman hai ki jo public examination act hai uska notification kar diya gaya hai jiske antargat jo bhi isme doshi paya jayega us pe 1 crore rupaye ka jurmana aur 10 saal ki saza ho sakti hai issue is there is there are serious issues related to need to g examinations we all are concerned about it and government of india particularly ministry of education has taken a decision to transfer uh, the nta chief and this is a step uh, in the right direction in order to build confidence amongst the students and the candidates who appeared uh, for need UG examination. Right. Government is taking all necessary steps to, uh, to improve uh, the processes of the examination, one aspect, and second is to build confidence among the students. Now you heard voices from the education fraternity. From the academic world, there are top voices coming in in support of the steps taken by the government. But the opposition is absolutely unrelenting in its attack on the Modi government. They have accused the government of playing with the future of the youth from the Congress to the Samajwadi Party, to the left, to the TMC. On the eve of the parliament session, the opposition is stepping up the demand. And what are they saying? They're saying that... If heads must roll, they must also roll in the education ministry and they're calling for the education minister's resignation. Listen in. एक रात पहले ये घोषणा कर देना कि अब एग्जाम नहीं होगा, ये सरकार एग्जाम नहीं करा पा रही है। नौजवानों के बीच ये सरकार अपना विश्वास पूरी तरह से खो चुकी है। जो शिक्षा मंत्री आज से चार दिन पहले एनटीए को क्लीन चिट दे रहे थे, अब एनटीए के डायरेक्टर जनरल जो एग्जाम्स के हैं उनको हटा रहे हैं। नौजवानों के बीच ये सरकार अपना विश्वास पूरी तरह से खो चुकी है। डायरेक्टर बदलने से कोई होने वाला नहीं, कुछ होने वाला नहीं है, मंत्री बदलने चाहिए। पहले मंत्री महोदय ने कहा था कुछ गड़बड़ है ही नहीं, फिर कहा था कुछ गड़बड़ हो सकती है, और कल 24 घंटों जब थे, 24 घंटे जब थे एग्जाम के लिए, तब परीक्षा ही पोस्टपोन कर दिए, और जो 
जो आदमी बैठे बैठे क्लीन चिट देते सड़कों पर बच्चे आए उनका आक्रोश आया उसके बाद कहानियां करने लगे कि थोड़ी भी संगति हम देखेंगे अब क्यों कर रहे हैं आप ये एनटीए में फ्रॉड है धर्मेंद्र प्रधान जी को इस्तीफा दे देना चाहिए The cancellation of NEET PG exams is sending a chilling message across the country that the BJP government is incompetent, is allowing gangs, organized gangs, to leak the papers. Opening up the debate tonight, Shahzad Poonawala of the National, National Spokesperson of the Bharatiya Janata Party joining us on the debate. Professor Badri Narayan, Director of uh, GB Pan Social Science Institute for NEET also joining us. Dr. Harsh Mahajan, former National President of the Indian Radiological and Imaging Association and former President for Healthcare Federation of India on the panel tonight. Lokesh Jinder, Political Analyst and Gansham Tiwari of the Samajwadi Party opening it up with uh, Shahzad Poonawala. The opposition is unrelenting. CBI probe has been ordered by the government, the NTA boss has been shunted out, but you've heard what the opposition has been saying. They're calling this absolute incompetence on the part of the government, and they're also gunning for the education minister, Shahzad. What's your response to them? I'm neither surprised nor am I shocked. Their job is to do politics. Even on an issue like this, they figure that there's nothing better they can do than to play politics. But there are two templates of response for agriculture. One response is that in Uttar Pradesh, 48 papers leaked, in West Bengal, 10 papers leaked, Rajasthan, 20 papers leaked. No action done. In fact, the Congress party stood with the paper leakers. On the other hand, there's a template where the NTA chairperson has been removed. You have a strong action that has been done in terms of a legislation that will fine people up to 1 crore and 10 years imprisonment. You have an institutional reform that has already been put in place under Radha Krishnan Ji. You have had several academics and leaders from IITs, IIM, UGC and others hailing these immediate steps that have been taken. And we are moving towards a zero error kind of situation. But I have just one question. You have problem with BJP and Modi, abuse BJP and Modi. This is a tweet that Shashi Tharoor has done on Uttar Pradesh. He has abused the entire state of Uttar Pradesh. Today, I am glad that Samajwadi Party is here. Let me just read out what the tweet is. Uttar Pradesh kise kehte hai? Wo Pradesh jis mein parikshah se pehle Uttar ka pata chal jata. You know, this happened a lot in Uttar Pradesh when Samajwadi was in power, where 48 papers were leaked and the chairperson of the... Uh, Seva Ayog had to be removed by the High Court. I just want to ask you, abuse BJP, you abuse Modi, you do that every day, on every issue. Why drag in the youngsters of Uttar Pradesh and stereotype them? What wrong did they do to Gansham Tiwari of the Samajwadi Party also joining us. Gansham, uh, the Bharti Janta Party is today questioning you over a tweet that was made by Shashi Tharoor. They are saying that amid this controversy, amid the crisis that is now snowballing, students have come out. Yes, their issues have been addressed. This is what the BJP is saying. There is an attempt to assuage them. There is an attempt to ensure that the future of lakhs and lakhs of students is not jeopardized. But why should anyone or any politician use this as an issue to, to in fact mock a state and stereotype. They're also reminding you of the kind of paper leaks that took place in Uttar Pradesh in the past and how no action was taken. What's your response, Gansham? Good evening to the viewers. Hello. Paraphrase what BJP is saying. They are commenting on a joke when they have turned the entire education system and examination system into a joke. Like more than 24 lakh uh, students are affected on the NEET exam. Then there is NEET PG. 12 hours before the exam, they, they basically announced to the country that, look, we don't have confidence in ourselves to conduct any exam. That's their announcement. Exam after exams are getting uh, getting postponed. They they removed the NTA DG. Did the NTA DG come, say, uh, come and say there was no leak? It was the education minister. Is, he, is this the education minister for the first time? Or he has been education minister for, for the last three years. This is a party that does exam pe charcha, pariksha pe charcha of the prime minister. And they have, now they have turned entire pariksha into tamasha. The party that turns every agenda into tamasha without delivering anything, whether it is income generation to the youth, whether it is jobs or it is exams, is coming out and, and crying over a joke. What a shame. The, the nation wants to get the answers that when will this government show any confidence that it can conduct, conduct exams? Do people of India now have to rely on the same printer that, that prints Mr. Modi's uh, search, uh, exam certificates and, and degree certificates and several other Modi cabinet degree certificates? Or do we get back to the kind of degree certificates that are real, 
that most of us have. Okay, so I'll go back to Shahzad and, and they're the Samajwadi Party also making pertinent points, but let's actually understand the issue from Dr. Harsh Mahajan, former national president of the Indian Radiological and Imaging Association and former president, Healthcare Federation of India of NAT Health. Uh, Dr. Mahajan, thank you for joining us. Today, students, there are still students who are out protesting. Today, the retest also took place, out of which just 52% appeared for the retest. There are questions being raised as to why, yes, the government has taken action. Yes, a CBI investigation has been ordered. Yes, the NTA DG has been shunted out. But the question that many are asking is, why did it take 19 days? And why was there a delay in acknowledging, in acknowledging that irregularities did take place? So who do you think is at fault over here? Uh, thank you very much, Priya. Um, uh, good evening to your viewers, uh, students, and parents who I'm sure are watching. I don't think I'm competent to answer the question as to who is responsible. And leaving the politics of the whole situation aside, you know, many years ago, I also appeared for these exams. Point number one, I think NEET is a great exam, one exam. We used to go for multiple exams, different states, different colleges. And, uh, you know, for a middle class uh, person, it was very, very difficult to do it. So point number one, NEET, a unified common entrance test, is a great thing to have. Point number two, these leakages and leaks and all the criminal elements who get associated, there is no question that they have to be curved, they have to be caught, and they have to be put behind bars so that there is an end to this practice. Towards that end, I think this uh, new act which has been brought in, hopefully, will help in curbing this. Point number three is regarding the postponement at the last minute of the uh, PG exam. Now here, you know, we are hearing arguments for the UG exam where students are on the road saying the entire exam should be reheld. Hmm. Even though what we are given to believe, and I only go by news reports, that it is only a localized leak that happened in Patna hmm. and that probably those people may have to take the test again. Why should the entire 24 lakh people who took the exam have to do it again when most of them took it fairly? On the one hand, there is this argument, and then there is the argument that why postpone an exam at the last minute? Mm. There again, I think one has, I would believe that the right thing has been done because if the government, even at the last minute, came to know that there is something, some hanky-panky, we have no details of what the reason is, hmm. uh, and they postponed the exam, I feel it is for the benefit of all those students, especially young doctors who are aspiring to become specialists in hmm. their own chosen field, if they had given the exam, had the government shied away, and then after that, you realize that there was some uh, illegality which had occurred and the exam has to be done again. Mm. I don't think it would have benefited any, anyone. I mean, we cannot take both sides of the argument where you say damned if you do mm. and damned if you do not. Mm. Having said that, these are unpardonable problems that have happened. As a student, I remember the tension, the fear, the trauma of having to undergo an exam. And remember, now there is only one exam which is going to determine the right. fate of these students mm. who have prepared for nearly four or five years. So I think the system needs to be rectified. Right. A committee has been formed for yes. that. Hopefully they'll do their job. And, and let's go ahead so, and look at the future. So, so Dr. Martin, and the blame you, you've game put it continue. into perspective and the, you're talking, obviously, whatever you are saying tonight uh, is... One is it's, it's bereft of politics because that we leave to the politicians. There the mudslinging will go on, the questions will be asked. But when it comes to the interest of the students, is re -neat actually in the interest of the students? And Dr. Marjan has put that into perspective. Lokesh Jindal, 
Today we have data to show that there were 63 students who were debarred from giving the exam on the 5th of May on account of the irregularities. If we just do a small calculation, there were over 23 lakh students who appeared for the exam. So there are many saying if there were less than 1% and like it's being pointed out that if the leak was was in fact restricted or the compromise was restricted to a few places like say in Patna or in Godhra and the investigation is on. Why should the entire exam be held once again and why should meritorious students have to suffer? So because uh, we are simply ignoring the cause of such failures. The offline mode of examination is always having various loopholes. An offline mode involves various outsourcing of processes, right from the printing, right from uh, uh, having the entire question paper set delivered to the examination centers. And through these processes, there are various leakages, loopholes via which such forms of paper leaks occur. Today, we have various technological solutions available. There are MNCs. If the government is prudent enough, taking this matter seriously, it can impose severe clauses, if at all any form of examination is compromised. It can make use of online test mechanisms, which other exams are doing. But Lokesh, and steps have been only... taken by the government, which even top educationists in the country have lauded and have appreciated today. So is there an attempt to ensure that the issue, instead of finding a solution for the students, is there an attempt to ensure that the issue is kept on the boil? Because if we talk about Rajasthan, when Ashok Gehlot was the chief minister, 14 paper leaks took place, 26 paper leaks took place in 10 years itself and work the same kind of questions asked by your party. I, I would also like to go across to our other panelist who's joining us, Professor Badri Narayan. Uh, Professor Badri Narayan, the government today comes out and has said that, listen, we have ordered a CBI investigation. The NTA DG has been shunted out. We've taken all the uh, inputs from agencies. Are you, in fact, what do, what do you have to make out with the steps that have been taken by the government when it comes to the entire crisis that's hit the NTA? I think, uh, first of all, uh, we have in, in charge this debate, everyone is political. There is no one is neutral and everyone has its own conclusion. But I think we should be neutral and you should see how government is strongly taking action each and every day. And these five actions are going to reshape the future of the country and to curb the, the influence of these mafias. And you know that today there was an attack on the CBI in the village where they, they went to capture the, the, the mobile owner. So I think you can see the root of the, of the how the root of the, this mafia has expanded in our society. So I think government, this Public Examination Prevention Act, DG, the, the removal of the DG and bringing new DG of the NTA. Uh, thirdly, the CBI inquiry. And then this entire five things are, are very strong attack, hammered. On, on this entire ne nexus of the mafias who are trying to, uh, to dent uh, in our educational examination process. And, and you know, uh, I think uh, 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 we are always misread the quotations of the anyone. I reminded you, I remind you and your uh, viewers, uh, education minister since very beginning is saying, Pukta Praman Arne Tak, uh, hmm. aega, we will take action. Hmm. And Pukta Praman when came, he, he, uh, he took action. So government is always in action mode and you know you are very right that in every estate this kind of paper leak used to take place. Leakers are stronger in every estate mm. and this government at this moment is going to create, to do the diagnosis and also treatment because diagnosis through Radha Krishna committee, diagnosis of the entire restructuring of the NTA, mm. uh, restructuring of the examination process, so immediate uh, solution and the long term solution. Mm. Both we are going to, uh, we are missed, the government is going to offer through this kind of committee and we, we will have to wait their uh, their recommendation. I think this will be the perfect uh, recommendation because right. this committee is a very efficient committee. All right. And CBI inquiry report should come as soon as possible All so right. that we can know from where the leak has started. So, so Professor Badri Narayan and Dr. Harsh Mahajan, process. on this panel they've put into perspective the interest of the students. Is this the issue 
on which there should be politics and non-stop politics when it comes to the interest of students is solution more important or is constant mudslinging the need of the hour for the want of time i'll have to thank all my panelists for joining us tonight but here on times now we will keep raising our voice for the students thank you everyone for joining us on this debate taking a short break here on times now we'll be back as we get you more news and updates stay with us Thank you.